Good morning, third graders. Uh, today in math, we're going to do lesson 14 and we are going to continue to talk about a uh, perimeter. We're going to uh, look at the perimeter of regular polygons in particular. So first of all, um, what is a polygon? A polygon is a 2D shape formed with straight lines. So the ones you can see below are all polygons. My question is, is a circle a polygon? If you said no, you're right, because it does not, it is not formed with straight lines. A polygon is regular when all angles are equal and all sides are equal. So the ones below are all regular polygons. As you can see, here we have a triangle, all sides are equal, they're the same. And all the angles, okay, this one, this one here, and this one here, they're all the same. It's called an equilateral triangle. Next one is a square. A square is a regular polygon. All sides are the same, are equal, and all angles. They're called right angles, 90 degree angles. Here we have a regular pentagon. All sides and all angles are equal, and there are five sides. Here we have a regular hexagon six sides all the same and the angles are the same heptagon a regular heptagon seven sides all the same and an octagon a regular octagon eight sides and they're all the same so now we know what a polygon is and we know what a regular polygon is oops just a sec um i have a question is a rectangle a polygon yes a rectangle is a polygon. Is a rectangle a regular polygon? Think about it. If you answered no, you are right. A rectangle is not a regular polygon. The sides are not all the same. The angles are the same, but the sides are not. We know opposite sides are the same, but a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. So it's not a, reg a regular polygon. Okay, let's go ahead and, okay, actually pause the video and I would like you to grab pencil and paper and do these problems together with me. Pause it. Okay, so you now have pencil and paper and I want you to follow with me. Uh, remember that we're talking about perimeter and the perimeter is the measurement of the outline of a shape. So that line around a shape, the outline of a shape, that is the perimeter, okay? Whereas the area is the space inside that outline, okay? This is the problem. Let's see if we can solve it together. A rectangular, so we're talking about a rectangle here. This is a polygon, but not a regular polygon. A rectangular sheep pen measures five meters long and nine meters wide. The perimeter of the cow pen is double the perimeter of the sheep pen. What is the perimeter of the cow pen? So we have a sheep pen that's a rectangular shape. We have the two sides. We have the measurements of two sides. Um, can we find the perimeter? Hmm. We know that in a rectangle, opposite sides are the same. So if we have two sides, if we have two sides, we have the other two as well. We have the short side, the long side, and opposite sides are the same. So can we find the perimeter? We can. Go ahead, pause the video, and then you'll check if you solved it the same way I did. Okay? So this is the sheep pen. Um, as you can see, um, you have the two sides, nine meters and five meters, and opposite sides are the same. So five here, this is also five. This is nine meters. The opposite side is also nine meters. So what am I going to do? I'm going to um, add up the sides. Five plus five plus nine plus nine. Five plus five is 10. Nine plus nine is 18. 10 plus 18 is 28. Now I know that the so I have the perimeter of the sheep pen. I know that the cow pen is double. So I'm going to simply, oops, I'm going to simply double 28. Remember your unit meters, 28 meters plus 28 meters is 56 meters. And that will be the length of the perimeter of the cow pen. Okay. Here's another problem that you can try and then we can check it together. So pause the video, try this. Uh, problem. 
we have um i mean look at the problem before you pause the video we have a rectangle and we know the two side lengths of this rectangle one the short side is six centimeters the long side is nine centimeters can we find the perimeter of this rectangle pause the video try it out okay let's see if you solved it like i did i know that i have this side that's six, this long side is nine, and then I have another six and another nine. So I did it in two ways. I added six plus nine plus six plus nine, six plus nine is 15. And then I did 15 plus 15 is 30. But I can also notice that there's two side lengths that are six centimeters. So I did two times six and two side lengths that are nine centimeters. So I did plus two times nine. That would be 12 plus 18. Eight plus two is a 10 plus the other two tens. I have three tens. That's 30 centimeters. Okay. Always remember the unit. So we have centimeters and be careful. These are not square units. This is a linear measurement. It's the perimeter. You're using the ruler. It's not a square measurement. Okay. Find the perimeter of regular polygons with one side length given. So if you have, this is a regular hexagon, okay? Uh, if you have a regular polygon, <clears throat> we said before that in a regular polygon, all the sides are the same and all the angles, but we're thinking, we're looking at the sides right now. So how can the labeled side length help you find the unknown side lengths? Well, if I know that it's a regular in this case, it's a hexagon. If I know that it's a regular polygon, I know that all the sides are the same. So if one side of my hexagon is three centimeters, I know that all the sides are three. So this one is also three centimeters, three centimeters, three centimeters, three centimeters, three centimeters. Go ahead, solve the problem, find the perimeter, and then you can check and see if you did it the same way I did. Okay? So you can do it like this. You add three one, two, three, four, five, six times. Okay, so three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three is 18, and that's simply six times three, which is 18 centimeters. Remember your unit, and remember it's a linear. It's not a square unit. We're talking about the perimeter, the outline of a shape. Okay, this is all for today. Um, in your... This will be your work for today. Uh, you will, you need to find the perimeters of these. You have four regular shapes. Um, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a heptagon, regular triangle, square, and a regular pentagon. So these are regular shapes. And then you have a rectangle, which is not a regular polygon. Um, you just need to find the perimeter. Um, Again, here you have a regular octagon. You know one side, that means you know them all. You have to find the perimeter. This is a problem that you can do on your own. And um, they're all problems with perimeters of rectangles or of regular polygons. And then there's an exit ticket. Um, enjoy working with the perimeter today and with regular polygons. Have a great day. Bye.